It's estimated that one third of the human food supply depends on insect pollination. Most of this is carried out by bees, especially the domesticated European honeybee. A lot, a lot of uh, the vegetables, for instance, we are eating depends mostly from pollination from uh, bees. Not only uh, domestic bees, but also um, wild bees, how we call them. So bees in general for the ecosystem is really important. Honey production is worth around 70 million francs. The value of honeybees in terms of promoting biodiversity can't even be measured. And yet they face many threats. Their population has halved over the past 25 years because of the destructive effects of the Faroa mite and the bacterium European fowl brood. They've also been hit by a loss of nesting habitat and the use of pesticides. The authorities in Lausanne came to realize that the conservation of wild bees is more important than ever, and they decided to introduce bees into the city. There are other cities who have shown the example to bring bees into the city on the top of the roofs in Paris and Chicago, New York and so on. So we thought, why not doing that in, in Lausanne? It's good for the, the society, for us, to, to know that they are not dangerous. They are very important for, for us. On the cities, lots of balconies with uh, geraniums and lots of flowers, you know, trees with flowers. So why but leave them on the countryside? Raymond Vere is chief gardener at the Bois de Vaux Cemetery, where there are now three beehives. Cemetery is uh, uh, a perfect place, I thought, for the, the bee. Very quiet, no, no problems, not lots of people, no, no cars or bicycles or whatever. The Beekeeping Association will provide training for Raymond Vere and his colleagues so that eventually they can entirely take over the work of caring for the bees. Uh, we have to think more forward than only cut the grass and plant uh, lovely flowers. You know, we have to think about birds and plus the bee and next steps maybe, I don't know, uh, snakes. Or... <laughs> Other hives have been placed in the centre of the city outside the communal administration building. They could help us learn more about the quality of the air in the city. We uh, plan to analyse the honey and uh, the ana the, this analyse uh, would tell us uh, which kind of plant uh, the bees visited, which kind of pollen uh, you can find and also if uh, there is some trace of uh, pollution, of uh, maybe lead, lead uh, or other kind of micro pollution. It's still early days, but Pascal Aubert is confident that the project will be a success and that more hives can be placed on the many flat roofs in the city, as well as in the parks.